Hello friends, I come with another video here. Uh, I hope you are doing well. On today's video, I'm going to show you uh, how to peel the seeds. One has a profinate port and the other doesn't have a profinate port. So how can share data? This is, as you see on the layout, this is the second one is the layout. So uh, from one side, we can use put in the gate for uh, a PLC that has the profinate port. If we are, we are programming on the other side, that is the with the communication processor, we have to use AG send and the AG, AGC receive. So on today's video, I'm going to show you how can we use the put in the get uh, instructions on the one side. Okay. So let's go to the programming. Let's create new project. Let's say PLC to PLC communication. Communication uh, also using communication processor. Okay. Uh, let's insert one PLC, two projectors here. Uh, this, let's say PLC one, and let's also include one station PLC two. Okay, now let's uh, configure the hardware configuration for PLC one. Okay, uh, my PLC is rendered, so let me add the rack first. Okay. Are the CPU? My CPU is two seventy with uh two profinet port one. Okay, let's say this one is Ethernet one. Okay, let's add the address. It's okay. Zero one is okay. Okay, great. Okay. For one for one PLC, we have done. Let's add for the other PLC. Okay. So my next PLC doesn't have profinate port, so I will add also the communication processor. Okay. CPU uh, 370 with 2DP with 2DP. Okay, profit. This is profit bus one. Okay, for the communication processor, industrial, this one. Let me I start the let's start the cut the catalog six G K seven three four one one C X ten zero X E zero. This is my communication browser. So let's search. It's searching now. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Let's add here. Again, let's search here. Let's add this one version. Okay, let's add on the. Sorry. Okay, let's add on the profit net for, uh, network. Okay, then. Now I have done for the uh, hardware configuration for both PLCs. So let's configure the. 
network station again okay as you see they are connected so let's add one connection here okay yeah to dp yeah all right okay apply so uh, as you see these are picked so configuration at one end is possible establish active active connection is also possible so you can see from the help okay this okay save in the compile everything is okay now let's close and uh, let's add some or some blockers for sending and receiving let's add the data data blockers let's say 100 for sending data so sending to plc2 okay let's add one db also for receiving 101 receive data from plc2 okay uh, great let's parameterize for for the db100 to send okay send data let's make it an array let's send 10 data let's say integer okay let's parameterize that one now let's say 10 11 sorry sorry let's make it 10 11 12 12 30 40 15 60 okay and okay i have parameterized it so for sending for receiving i have to create a, a variable also to receive so let's say receive it receive it data let's make it also this one or uh, array uh, sorry let's make it 10 variables okay integer so i will receive 10 uh, integers from plc2 uh, yes okay so let's add for plc2 also the db's data block 200 send data to plc1 and let's receive that data from plc1 also receive data from plc1 okay let's parameterize let's create some variables in the parameterize okay send data array assure 10 sorry okay let's parameterize i have created 10 variables so let's it's plc2 so we can make it 20 21 22 23 4 5 6 7 8 29 okay i have parameterized for db200 to send to plc1 so let's create some variables for 
receiving also from PLC1 receive data receive it data so this creates game variables to receive again okay so it's created you see game variables so my data from plc1 will be saved here okay great so now the main advantage of the put in the gate is we can configure or program from one plc so i can program on plc1 to write to the plc2 also to read data from plc2 okay that's the main advantage so let's open okay okay let's send data to plc2 so we can send data to plc2 okay so let's add system function block 50 okay 50 i think 50 is needed. yes it's put so i got it so let's so let me make it clock zero point five the id going to be connection uh, guy here okay the address where the data going to be saved so let's okay let's make this one db1 okay let's make this one where my data going to be saved so db dbx starting from zero or uh, integers 10 so i am going to send 10 integers or you can make it this one byte or oh, it's okay okay mm, let's set which data we are going to send this is going to be my, my db 100 dot dot dbx starting from zero or oh, integers 10 so okay i'm done for the put or for sending let's add one network for receiving receive data from plc2 so my system function is again system function log 40 is 40 okay yes get okay this let me make two okay the connection is again so sorry sorry for the request we can make it memory 0 0.5 this is a clock clock memory I, I will activate i forget to activate so i will uh, activate later okay I will put the okay sorry I made a mistake here this must be 201 that's where my data is going to be saved on PLC 2 so on here I will bring the data from DB 200 200 db 200 db x integers 10 and where i am going to save so the db of plc1 
3 x sorry sorry db on 101 dot db x starting from 0 integers 10 okay done uh everything is done here so let me before starting the simulation let me activate one thing on my plc one i have to activate the clock memory that's my one mistake that i forget let's go to the clock memory so, uh, yeah the starting at least zero so 0 0.5 is one hours or one second okay done now let's simulate Okay. Okay, let's move it on top. Let's let's download. Let's download again the other PLC. Okay, now I have loaded, so let's see our obi one how it's running. The monitor. So it's now sending and also receiving by this one. So when we check on our DB, DB101. I will give the data from the PLC to okay. Sorry. So as you see, the data from PLC two is on my PLC one DB one hundred one, and uh, this also on the PLC two. The DB two hundred one will be storing my data from plc one yes yes have guessed this one thank you for watching me so again i will continue on another video so on today's topic i am done so thank you have a nice time see you later